Welcome again. Today our topic is steganography. There are several definitions for steganography. Hiding data within data. Steganography is the art of hiding information and an effort to conceal the existence of the embedded information. And even the definition, it's hiding bad things in good things. The word steganography comes from New Latin steganographia, which combines the Greek words steganos, meaning covered, and graphia, meaning writing. The first recorded uses of steganography can be traced back to 440 years BC when Stasius sent a message to his vassal Aristagoras by shaving the head of his most trusted servant, marking the message into his scalp, then sending him to the king once his hair had grown. Several steganography methods were used in history, such as the use of null cipher, hidden messages distributed according to a certain rule or key, or in other words, of, of a less suspicious cover text. For example, we choose the first character of each word in the text, the second, or any other character according to a certain rule. Writing using invisible ink is also a form of steganography. Messages written on envelopes in the area covered by postage stamps, another method. Messages written in Morse code on yarn and then knitted into a piece of clothing worn by a carrier. During World War II, photosensitive glass was declared secret and used for transmitting information to Allied armies. Also during World War II, the Germans introduced micro dots. Micro dots were complete documents, pictures, and plans reduced in size to the size of a period and attached to a common paperwork. Modern steganography started in 1985 with the advent of PCs being applied to classical steganography problems. Modern steganography includes the concealment of information within computer files. Media files are more powerful than text files. The most common steganography technique using mostly image and sound carrier files is called least significant bit substitution or overwriting. As the name implies, least significant bits involves overwriting the bit with the lowest arithmetic value. The result of this process alters the original output very slightly. This is done slightly enough to be unlikely to be detected from human senses. Next, what is the difference between cryptography and steganography? As you know, cryptography makes the data unreadable or hides the meaning of data. Cryptography is similar to writing a letter in a secret language. People can read it, but won't understand what it means. For example, we have the plain text here, and this is the cipher text. During transmission, people or attackers can see the cipher text, but they cannot understand its meaning. While steganography hides the existence of data. Here we have an image of a tree. The least significant bits of this image stores the stego text or the stego image. Here, an image of a cat extracted from the tree image. Next, steganography process. We have the secret text, image, audio, or video, and the cover image. Stig algorithm embedded in some way the secret message or text or video into the cover image to obtain the Stig image. In the receiving end, the Stig algorithm extracts the secret message or text or audio or video from the Stego image. 
There are three basic categories of text steganography, format-based, random, statistical generation, and linguistic method. For example, making text the same color as the background in the processor is one form as well. Next, printed steganography. Digital steganography output may be in the form of printed documents. A message, the plain text, may be first encrypted by traditional means, producing a cipher text. Then the used cover text is modified in some way so as to contain the cipher text resulting in stego text. For example, the letter size, spacing, typeface, or other characteristics of a cover text can be manipulated to carry the hidden message. Only a recipient who knows the technique used can recover the message and then decrypt it. Next video and audio steganography. Video files are generally a collection of images and sounds, so most of the presented techniques on images and audio can be applied to video files too. When information is hidden inside video, the program or person hiding the information will usually use the DCT, discrete cosine transform method. DCT works by slightly changing each of the images in the video, only so much that it is not noticeable by the human eye. In audio steganography, secret message is embedded into digitized audio signal, which results in slight altering of binary sequence of the corresponding audio file. Using media file, large amount of information can be hidden. I will explain why. Usually the size of media files is very large, so we can use part of this huge capacity for steganography purposes. I will show you how to calculate the size of one minute video file. Suppose that the resolution used for simplicity 1000 by 1000, which is 10 to the power six pixels per frame. Number of frames in video files ranges from 24 to 30 frames per second. So approximately we have 1,500 frames per one minute, which means that we have 1,500 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 pixels in a one minute video file. And we should multiply this value again by 24 bits or 3 bytes used to represent each pixel in a color mode. And divide this value by 8 to obtain the value on bytes. And this value is greater than 10 to the power 9 bytes. And it is easy to convert this value to kilo or megabytes. As you see, we can have large space if we use, for example, only 10% of this space for steganography purposes. This is why media files are used for hiding information in steganography. Next, steganography applications. Steganography is used in confidential communication, secret data storing, protection of data alternation, access control system for digital content distribution, media database systems. Steganography techniques can be used to support cryptography in several applications. Steganography detection, or also known as stego analysis, is the process of detection steganography by a third party. Stego analysis is performed in a variety of ways and is usually based around how much prior information is available. This was a quick introduction to steganography and the difference between cryptography 
and steganography and the applications of steganography. For today, that's all. Thank you.